image restoration and denoisoning using Markov random field. So in this world of data where data has been processed, stored and transmitted, contamination of data is very normal and this leads to loss of data. Any, for any kind of image data and video data, noise of data can lead to adverse effects over pre-processing things. So image denoisoning system plays a very important role. Ima uh, traditionally image denoisoning algorithms also consider edges and texture as noises thus reducing the detail in the uh, image and in increasing the loss. Thus a viable uh, and uh, meaningful information retrieval system is very essential. One of the solution is Markov random field. Markov random field is a graphical model representing jo joint probability distribution. Some of the properties of Markov random field are given any two nodes A and B uh, and uh, given a node C, A and B are conditionally independent given that no path uh, passes through node C. Also, uh, given the neighboring node of uh, neighboring set of nodes for any node N, that node is independent of all the other nodes in the graph. The, these properties of Markov random field can be illustrated using the diagram shown at the bottom left corner. Uh, okay, uh, next uh, coming to the problem framing in the context of MRF. Uh, we took the original pixel values of the image as the latent variables and the current observed pixels of the image after the noise is added as the observed variables. And uh, generally the models for the image restoration and denoising commonly consist of the real pixel intensities D and the underlying true pixel values X. So and the difference between these two can be considered as an error term which is represented by epsilon here. So D will be equals to X plus E. Uh, and the noise here is also assumed as to be homogeneous Gaussian white noise which is a normal distribution of mean zero and variance sigma square and as we can see in the diagram right corner uh, so these white nodes represent the original uh, pixels whereas the black nodes represents the image uh, that we are currently observing so the, there is a link between the neighboring pixels in the original image but there is no uh, link between the image in the observed ones as there is a uh, correlation in the nearby pixels for the original. Uh, next coming to the likelihood function of the restored image values x uh, which we defined as a probability density function of d given x uh, is given as uh, 2 sigma square uh, power minus n by 2 into e power minus u of d by x where u by d, uh, d of x like it can be uh, think it as the uh, difference of the original image to the noise image uh, which is summation of x minus d a whole square divided by the 2 sigma square variance and the prior energy is the sum of all the click potentials this is to uh, uh, preserve the correlation of the uh, image which is the summation of uh, x minus x j whole square where x j is the neighboring uh, pixels of the x i and we summation it throughout the whole image and now we apply the Bayes theorem to merge the likelihood energy and the prior energy and L of D is the so called posture energy E of x by D as uh, E of x given D is a summation of two parts the first one is U of D given x that we discussed first and next also the prior energy U of x and coming to the optimization to get the original restored image uh, we used the map solution uh, maximum positive solution where we take the uh, 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 image which has a argument of the summation of x m n s d a whole square uh, plus b with some constant term into the summation of x m n s x j for all uh, neighbors of x i whole square uh, where v here 2 sigma square and if it can be also seen that if v equals to 0 where there is no noise as it's a uh, mean 0 and variance sigma square so what we get is a original image as the output image uh, both will be the same the current image and the old, uh, original image will be same uh, which means no noise is present in the image the minimization problem is a quadratic optimization problem over a continuous surface it is convex and possesses a global minimum so this allows us to apply any known optimization procedure and for the algorithm the map solution can be taken as a loss function so that it can be optimized through back propagation using the neural networks and we will be using the MRF prior to be a quadratic equation as uh, u square to penalize the difference between the neighboring pixel intensities.
so basically we'll be starting from a blank image and update its value via gradient descent to minimize our objective function f where x and are the neighboring pixels so the corresponding loss function will be summation of x y minus y whole square plus summation of the right neighbors a of into the g that we took here as a quadratic equation x y minus x n so it will be whole square uh, instead of calculating the gradients manually we take advantage of the pytorch autograph so here is the results of the uh, builded model so here we can see that objective function objective function is the uh, objective function for the model as it's decreasing with uh, when you increase the number of epochs so initially it is very high after some of the epochs it is getting almost same values so i think 20 will be the uh, maximum number of epochs we can try for so in right side right right part we can see that uh, relate to root mean square error for uh, after every epoch we get some uh, denoised image so it will compare with the original image and will check the relative root mean square error so after uh, so many iterations uh, so for every iteration it is getting lesser value so we can say that our model is uh, good only so first we have a some uh, we taken some uh, noiseless image and we add some noise noise to this and see here we can see the noisy image here we adding the noise as a gaussian noise so after uh, uh, tra tra after in, uh, given uh, noise image to the model it will give some denoised image of after so, uh, some iterations so rms initial will rms initial is the uh, root mean square error which is compared to the uh, noiseless image with the noisy image and RMSC final will the final denoised image uh, so here we can see that uh, initially RMSC value is 0.21 and final it is 0.11 so it is uh, getting lesser values so in in below picture also we can see that RMSC initial value is 0.23 and final value is 0.14 and in D, here we can observe that uh, in denoised images uh, some smoothing function is happened here so this is due to the we taken quadratic prior as quadratic function as a mrf prior so here is the limitations for this model model uh, mrf model like we taken a squared error as a loss function for every uh, for training the model which leads to the some smoothing uh, smoothing and edge loss information also uh, edge happens so it can reduce the noise of the image but cannot bring back the original image so we already seen that uh, some rms value will be there but it is not zero so we can say that uh, it is not getting the original value original image sorry and in conclusion part uh, we can see that yeah hello and here is our uh, google collab notebook for this project and here we can see that we imported some of the libraries uh, like numpy torch and torch vision to work on the images so first we run this one and after importing the libraries we imported uh, cv2 uh, computer vision libraries and and we have a original image and we are adding some gaussian noise to it and we getting the Ga Gaussian noise uh, noisy image that is like original image plus some noise after getting after adding the noise and here we can see that uh, this is the original image and this is after adding noise this is the uh, noisy image and so after and we take an objective function as like uh, original potential function and prior function that prior function here we taken as a quadratic prior function and potential function we taken eight neighbors and calculating the uh, squared error from that one and we running that one also and and here we take an evaluation matrix as a relative root mean square error that is after every epoch we get some uh, noiseless image that is denoised image and we compare with the ground truth value ground truth image and 
for that purpose we use relate to uh, root mean square error for comparison and after after that one we training our model with the that main objective function that is a mrf prior plus mrf potential functions and mrf prior we take in here, here as a quadratic quadratic uh, quadratic square quadratic function and after running our model we can check the results and here is our results so this graph explains the uh, how objective function loss is decreasing as we go through the number of epochs and after each epoch we getting denoised image and checking with the ground truth image and here is our values like uh, re root root relative root mean square error in initial it, that is uh, ground truth and with the noise image we are getting 0.21 so after number of iterations we train and at final we getting the denoised image with RRMSC value as 0.11 so here we can see that uh, this is the noise image and this is the denoised image and this is the ground truth image so this is our old project explains about thank you for everyone thank you